Hi guys, welcome back to Flow and Tell. It is Flowski, and I'm here to tell you guys a story. Obviously, you guys clicked on this because you wanted to hear about my sexuality. Um, so basically, I've I don't know if you guys have ever questioned your sexuality, but I have definitely wondered a little bit about if I was lesbianist or bi or straight um i don't know but i think at the end of this you guys will probably figure it out um i basically my first kiss was with a girl and um like anything anything sexually intimate was actually with a girl when i was in middle school so it was like from sixth to eighth grade i had a huge i didn't know oh, i'm sorry i didn't have a crush on a girl but from sixth to eighth grade i liked a bunch of boys but they didn't like me back um it was always like the skater looking boys um yeah they definitely didn't like me back so i had a best friend in middle school and she had a crush on this guy named nathaniel nathaniel was one of those popular guys at school that played football he had that sexy skater boy hair the ones who would do a flip with their hair you could see the acne on his forehead and he's wearing a shoelace as a belt but nathaniel never knew that gertrude actually liked him so i came up with an idea i lied to gertrude that nathaniel was like my half cousin uh, like a family friend in family <laughs> And so I told her that Nathaniel always comes over and that she should call tonight so that she could talk to Nathaniel. Okay, I was just trying to fulfill her fantasies. Okay, I'm out here doing God's work, just so you know. So I did tell her to call her to call me tonight so that she could talk to Nathaniel. Bring, bring. Hello, what's up, Gertrude? Hey, Flo, can I talk to Nathaniel? Okay, uh, one second. Nathaniel, phone. Gertrude wants to talk to you. Hello? This is Nathaniel. What's up, Gertrude? Um, hi, Nathaniel. Oh, hey, uh, I want to tell you that you looked really pretty today at school. Oh my god, thank you. I have a huge crush on you. Can we hang out more at school? Yeah, me too. But you know, I hang out with the popular people, so I don't want people knowing I like you. Maybe one day. Okay, I understand. See you tomorrow at school. The next day at school, my sister would always get a bunch of toys and teddy bears from like her crushes like my sister is hot as fuck okay so she was out here getting gifts that i never begin and i took one of her teddy bears and i put it into gertrude's locker okay and i pretended that, that nathaniel had given it to her so when she saw the teddy bear in her locker she went up to nathaniel and she was like oh my god thank you so much and he had no idea what she was talking about so she came to me and like she's like oh i i said thank you to nathaniel about the teddy bear but he didn't know what i was talking about i was like i was like oh okay so you know quick quick thinkings i said oh it's just that nathaniel's like popular you know and he just can't be like known or seen liking you so he pretended that he didn't know what you're talking about but he actually knows what you're talking about i had to like you know keep playing the story okay guys then i told her that we should hang out after school to talk more about nathaniel so i actually went to her house and we did like a sleepover do you want to practice kissing in case you and nathaniel ever kiss mm, sure okay so close your eyes Now, without, okay, now without getting into like the specifics, all right, because we, we gotta, we gotta not go too deep with it, but just use your imagination. I did do a little tickle tickle on her taco and a little rub a dub squeeze on her tatas. <laughs> it went it was it was wild okay i wasn't expecting this i thought we were just gonna like practice kissing um for her to kiss nathaniel but one thing led to another and i was like surprised i was putting these moves on her because that was my first time doing anything sexually intimate and mind you we're literally like in seventh grade okay and so um she was she was kind of enjoying it and i was surprised i kind of felt like a dummy mommy <laughs> And then um, at some point, uh, we ended up stopping. And then the next morning, I remember we were eating Rice Krispies together. And she was like, can we just pretend? Like, I, I didn't, I wasn't going to say anything. But she asked if we could pretend that that never happened. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, whatever. And ever since then, I kind of like w thought maybe I was more interested in women than a man. Because over time in the future, like my experience with women have always been like, I'm just trying to like, if a girl's too shy to kiss a guy i'm like look i'm here you can practice on me and it's like a two-way street i get to fulfill my needs 
by getting to kiss a girl and she gets to practice on me. <laughs> so, but I actually only ended up like my long-term relationships, I only ended up dating like men. And so, and, and all of my long-term relationships were like four years, two years, one year, and they're always with like men. And, but my like fantasies would always be like with women. So I think I'm more of like bi-curious, but I, I like men, okay? <laughs> But one of my fantasies that actually hasn't been fulfilled yet is going to the strip club. I always wanted to go to a strip club to get my calcium in by having girls go on all fours and going moo while I suck on their mommy milkies. Their mommy milkies. Maybe even having the girls bending over and then like I use their fat ass cheeks as a bongo, you know, like do 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 but I never really had like the chance or the courage to go. I, I don't have like, I mean, I guess I, I've asked like a couple of my friends if we can go together, but the one time I was actually about to go, my cousin, I was gonna go with my cousin, which I don't know if that's weird, but he's like my best friend. And he was, he showed up in sweats. And I didn't know that you're not allowed to go to a strip club in sweats. And so we actually didn't get to go in, but I was like really excited and so down that day. Ever since then, we I never really had like another chance to go to the strip club, but that's definitely on my list of what I want to do. Um, Overall, more of the story is I do like men okay but I am by curious about women I have fantasies about the strip club and um and I check out women okay uh, I don't I am the one girl that like follows I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls that do but I do follow a lot of Instagram models and I'm the type that's like if I see an Instagram photo and they're like nippies are showing through the lace lingerie I'm like zooming in and trying to catch a nip slip or something I don't know I like nipples so <laughs> all about it but uh i'm pretty shy okay i don't think i think back then i was more ballsy when it came to like trying to ask girls to practice but at this age i just don't think there's a lot of like virgin girls out there that need practice so i can't really play that role anymore um but one day i will fulfill that strip club fantasy and i'll let you guys know how it goes i hope you guys liked this version of the podcast and my storytelling let me know down below if you guys really enjoyed it in the comments please and like this video and subscribe subscribe it would really help me a lot thank you so much for listening to my story and go on judge me all you want but look i am so proud of, me, of myself doing god's work okay have a great uh night or day whenever you guys are watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye